ever have been sick. And it's hard to be able to support them in the way that you'd really like to. So today was like an opportunity not just to support just the people that I do love and able to give Reiki to, but to other women who maybe don't have the opportunity to have a friend who come by and say, hey, just come get some Reiki, you know, and to give that to people who are really do need it and could hopefully benefit from it. These women are going through something so, so tough and they have like the courage to wake up every day and fight for their lives. And they are a lot more close to who they really are and what they need. And they're more open-hearted as well because they're vulnerable. Oh my God, can I do this? But Reiki is not about can you or can you not? And I had to keep reminding myself that, that it's just touch. So we come here at 9.30 in the morning. So we have like a whole hour to get all the orientation and what we should and should not do so that we all look like a team that works together with one system. So, so like one not to do, not to scare people off. A lot of these people have never had Reiki. And there is a lot of misconception around Reiki that we don't want to kind of kindle that fire anyway. So we want to keep it very about well-being, about caring, and you know, as secular as we can. You know, you, you see that phase where they get on the table and they're still a little bit, you know, they came from sometimes from massage, so they're a little bit relaxed already. Sometimes they came, you know, to Reiki first and they're a little bit tense. They don't know what it is and. Um, and then when they're on the table, you know, after like five minutes, you start to like feel their breath slows down and little by little they're, you know, they let go and you feel that they're going into like that deeper state of, you know, self-healing and rest and, and uh, restore mode. When the women were choosing where they wanted to uh, lie down to receive Reiki, I just made eye contact with a woman and we both got excited. <laughs> um, and she came in and she was just uh, really, really excited and you just kind of get excited with her, you know? And then she, when she got on the table and we started practicing, she was out in a second. She went right to sleep. It was really, really amazing. They're just the fact when they, the first time they snore, it's beautiful. So you can start in your head and I'm just there and then I, I listen to this very small snore and you know that means I'm at peace. And it's a gift for them again, and it's a gift for me. It really is it's just very gratifying to be able to um, give back what you've gotten, you know, um, and to really um, see their faces when, they, when the treatment's over, um, you know, that they're like, they're happy, they have a smile on their face, you know. It feels good to be able to help in some small way. But it, it is a, a, a kind of intense experience. Um, we were in their world for the day. Deciding for you a lot of times. And um, I think it's very important, especially in times like that, to be able to um, be in charge, be in control, or feel like you're participating in your healing process. Reiki can be an answer when words don't come easily.